Good morning to everyone. I am Shavita, a final year student from the Department of Biotechnology and I take immense pleasure in welcoming the Chief Factor, the professors and my dear students to the National Conference on Innovative Trends in Biotechnology, NCITB 2022, organized and sponsored by the Department of Biotechnology in association with the Biotech Research Society and Indian Institute of Chemical Biotechnology. Our world is built on biology and once we begin to understand it, then it becomes a technology. This shows the importance of our conference. With this quote in our mind, let's start our day. Prayer is a window to opportunity, a door to miracles, a channel for blessing and a path to dreams come true. So, I request everyone to stand for prayer song. <laughs> the light of knowledge, especially the knowledge of Dharma. And therefore, it is imperative that we begin auspicious activities by lighting the lamp. I request honorable dignitaries on dais to light the lamp and inaugurate the ceremony. I request Dr. Yuvaraj, Dean, School of Biotechnology and Chemical Engineering, to deliver the welcome address. Thank you. So, on behalf of the management of Vietnam High Tech, Dr. Rangarajan, Dr. Sarandala Engineering College, our respected principal, Dean International Relations, Dean R&D, other deans, associates, deans of various other schools, HODs, my friends, and my uh, faculty members and students. On behalf of them all, I welcome you all for this two-day sponsored, uh, Department of Biotechnology sponsored National Conference on Innovative Trends in Biotechnology, organized by the Department of Biotechnology along with the School of Biochemical Engineering. I welcome all the external participants who are coming up all the way around from many different places, universities and other institutions. I thank you all once again for coming here. Most of all, I extend my warm welcome to the chief guests of today, uh, Dr. Arumugam and Dr. Menak Mahindra for coming here and uh, gracing this occasion, not only for this particular conference. We have taken up the industry academy relationship one step ahead by signing MOUs together with these two uh, great gents and startup industries. And one thing I want to talk about uh, Dr. Menaga is that she has received an award from uh, MK Stalin during the Techno Festival. Many people would have uh, seen that also. And Dr. Raghav Mugam sir, and he is associated with us and in fact I was associated with him for almost more than a decade or so and we are still travelling towards one particular road and he is a scientist in Nagari and he has come up with various bio products also. Why I am suggesting this all to you? Because people who have come here along would have come up with different ideas. But this particular uh, conference should be a platform where there should be a culmination of different ideas from young minds, great people like them and other faculty members. Make new friends with the, uh, your uh, colleagues, contemporaries and these two days you will have to share your knowledge. There is going to be abundance of knowledge, not only just sharing will do. You exchange ideas. You have, you will have different ideas, people who have different ideas, exchange them. Make a plethora of knowledge in these particular two days. So, make this even a grand success. Also enjoy yourself, have fun in the two days and have a great day. Thank you. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest yet most powerful things humans can do for each other. With this, I would like to request our beloved principal, Dr. E. Kamalanapan, to felicitate our guest of honor, Dr. R. Mugam Pedra. Also, I would request our dean, Dr. B. Uvraj, to felicitate our principal.
Chief Guest of the day, Dr. Menaka Mahid Mahendra, founder and the CEO. Bio Bionintech, huh? Bionintech, India Private Limited, Humans Biotech Park, Silseri, Chennai, and uh, Agri Scientist, uh, Armats Biotech Training and Research Institute, Chennai, and uh, the Dean, Dr. Yuraj, School of uh, Biochemical Engineering and uh, Associate Dean who is uh, behind this conference, Dr. Gopinath, who got uh, the conference through Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. And, uh, our uh, Dean of Industry Relations, Dr. S. Suresh Kumar, our Dean R&D, Dr. Bharat Raja, and uh, other heads, faculty members, and uh, the faculty coordinators, and the student coordinators, and uh, the participants, participants from various institutions, universities. Very good morning, all of you. This is uh, the National Conference on Innovative Trends in Biotechnology. So really, I feel honored to have this conference today in this college. And uh, it's, I think the crowd is very minimal, unfortunate that uh, the reopening will be on August 10th uh, for second, third, five years. So therefore, we could not see here you know, many numbers. So therefore, even I feel happy here today that uh, quite a number of participants from other colleges, really great to see. And uh, this is the conference our uh, Associate Dean, Dr. Gopinath, who applied for the uh, Department of uh, Biotechnology, uh, a proposal, seminar proposal, seminar grant proposal, and having scrutinized and got through, and the sanctioned is one lakh, right? Yeah. It's a one lakh uh, funded conference. One lakh funded national conference. So, and one more conference, you know, coming up with the uh, chemical engineering department, that is from SERB, uh, Science Engineering Research Board. Science Engineering Research Board, that comes under the Department of uh, Science and Technology. So New Delhi, Government of India. I think that, that comes in September, yeah. September first week, that comes uh, in September first week. Really, uh, these conferences, you know, makes something, you know, where we have our own, what to say, that mechanism of empowering students with a lot of uh, mini projects, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, making the students to come up with innovative ideas and uh, uh, the mini projects which is a mandatory mechanism semester wise. So, where in which they come up, you know, they come through with a lot of ideas. Even our you know, innovation cell, institute innovation cell, where the three batches of students applied for uh, uh, what is called Smart India Hackathon, Smart India Hackathon 2022, and the three batches have got finalized, and they are going for grand finale. They are going for grand finale. So even we are looking for some universities and even some colleges where you know. We could see one or two or even nil, nothing, no batch is coming out uh, from uh, the scrutiny mechanism of IAE, MOE, Ministry of Education from New Delhi. So, but our institute, you know, well tech, high tech, Dr. Rangarajan, Dr. Shakuntala Engineering College is able to get uh, continuously, year on year, you know, 
one or two or three batches of students who are participating for this Smart India Hackathon in the grand finale event, in the grand finale event. So that is how we are encouraging the students, you know, and motivating. And lot of things we are, you know, doing for the students. We have a concept called ABC, you know, activities beyond classroom. Activities beyond classroom, where in which we take the, you know, activities like uh, mini projects. The second one is NPTEL, you know, self-learning. That is also being introduced in the timetable, weekly, two hours. And uh, we compulsorily go for the value added courses, semester minimum one. And uh, if time permits, we go for a two value added courses. And we do have a mentoring mechanism compulsory that is also a hour introduced in the timetable. Even for mini projects, we allot uh, six hours, you know, in a week in the timetable. And uh, what else? Skill development, yeah, most importantly, CSD, we say communication skill development, where we introduce two hours you know, per week, you know, two hours per week, almost some 30 hours in a semester, 30 hours in a semester, that to 1 is to 15, that to 1 is to 15, the faculty, they go in a class for a 60, they divide, you know, four, 15 students each, four faculty members parallelly. So likewise, you know, model-wise, that, that goes for all six semesters, three years. Uh, so likewise, you know, per week, we almost, uh, we engage students with other activities, 15 to 17 hours, 15 to 17 hours. So that is where we are very unique, you know, compared to other colleges, I do not know. But even, if, you know, other institutions, even they can do better. I don't say that the other institutions are not doing, but we are, you know, making it, you know, something unique ourselves where we stand and we want our students, you know, to groom, you know, more and more. So, therefore, how they can excel, you know, at the end of the day, the program and how they can meet the industry requirement, how they can meet the industry requirement. So, the point here is that whatever we do all four years of, uh, you know, engineering education, all four years of engineering education, at the end of the day, whether a student meets the requirement of industry, whether a student meets the requirements of industry. That is where we are worried. So therefore, from first year, first day onwards, we take up all these activities and we have a very good scrutiny mechanism, a kind of a cell we have here, in, you know, IPAC, Internal Quality Assurance Cell and the committee members. For all kinds of these activities, we will go for a scrutiny reviews in a semester three, three or four reviews and we evaluate marks for everything. Just like that, we don't conduct. For example, communication skill development, two hours, you know, per week or three hours per week. Faculty should evaluate in the classroom for 15 students, right? They have to rank it, they have to grade it, the student, the kind of, what to say, that skills, what they import in the classroom, how they are performing. So, you know, every day, the teacher, when they go to class, they have to evaluate and the sheet should come to the head of the department, school dean, dean academics, and to the principal office, the table. They have to get the signature. This is how the mechanism, you now we make it like that, the exercise in the campus. So therefore, the evaluation is in place. Therefore, the evaluation is in place. If you don't evaluate, just like that, if you go and teach and come, and at the end of the semester, nothing, we cannot see the outcome of the student. But then and there we evaluate and see that the kind of, you know, what to say, that plus, minus, the performance of the student so that we are improving, you know, slowly, gradually, the student, you know, the progress. So that is how we are making our students in the campus, we are empowering the students in the campus with 17 hours per week, you know, that is called a, a title, you know, the slogan called something, you know, activities beyond classroom. A short way we can say ABC. It is the ABC activities beyond classroom. Activities beyond classroom. But we don't you know think much about uh, the classroom activity. That is very normal. You see the teaching learning process throughout you know last 50 years. What we see you know in the nation or in the world the kind of teaching. But that doesn't make anything for a student to lift. You know, to lift and to meet the skills required for industry. The skills required for industry. 
during corona all two years you, you know got through all pass it is a all pass is it anything that uh, the teacher or that uh, the kind of interaction with the teacher or really you studied with the teacher you know classes and then got pass nothing like that is it right so therefore classroom mechanism is something different but beyond classroom is something different that is called giving exposure giving exposure for a student so outside you know outside world interaction outside world interactions with uh, you know sending students for outside competitions you know for on you know, a project expo and various other activities seminars conferences so many things we are very free here to give you know on duty for students we nearly you know 600 or you know plus students we send for you know outside you know participations for students you know we have we are you know we have a compulsory what a mechanism that heads and school deans that they have to send students outside so then only they will get you know outside world interaction otherwise keeping them four years in the campus after four years when they go they do not know what is there what is happening outside what is happening outside so therefore from first year we make all these things like the conference really this helps even our own students should have applied with the mini projects outcome as the conference as conference what the mini projects they do in the campus the same thing they articulate they write as a paper an article and they submit for the conference or the paper publication really our students last time i think uh, 350 plus mini projects they have done and all almost converted as you know conference you know conferences national or international plus the paper publications with the reputed journals with the reputed journals so this is how the kind of the, the kind of practice you know what we you know impart for the students so therefore student in an engineering college will come to know you know at the end of the program what is paper publication what is a paper pu publication how to write a paper how to publish a paper how to publish a paper so therefore a student when he publishes some three or four articles right in a reputed journals or some conferences you know good international conferences automatically when he or she want to go for ms i studies the credentials when she she you know he or she puts in a, in a profile that you know going for abroad universities right uh, with the top ranking universities they only go through this abc they only go through this abc what is your academic something like 8.5 or 9.5 cgpa that is okay normal that is a normal so what was done by the student during all these four years with this abc activities beyond classroom activities beyond classroom something that makes the student to explore further so therefore the professors of the abroad universities they want such what to say that uh, talents of the students where more and more when you go for abroad universities where they look for research more of research more of research that you do here you know in the college for four years and then you want to apply for ms program this helps as base as base this abc this paper publications and other competitions and other credentials that makes the student to get some aid to get some aid 50 percent or even full free you know tuition fee waived off so therefore our students they are into that also many of them are getting full free that tuition fee tuition fee and other things and they even get some what to say that uh, of other you uh, know uh, offers also from the universities so therefore students you now make use of the platform of the college wherever you are so four years you have to get trained make use of all the resources in the college so that makes you something you know, you know that gives you fruitful fruitful outcome so i think that this conference will help you that to have some you know discussion and a platform where you know it's a knowledge sharing platform it's a knowledge sharing platform at the same time you know two days you are coming out and you can also have with your limitations some enjoyment some enjoyment free of mind what is called the free of mind mind free when you come out you know from your place and going with the other place so some free of mind okay
with the limitations, with the restrictions, with the restrictions. So therefore, once again, I thank uh, the department and uh, the student coordinators, faculty coordinators, and the chief guest who was sparing time for, you know, for today's event, really. And, and uh, no, I thank once again, you know, all of you. Thank you, wish you good luck. Dr. Menaka Magindran, the founder of BioNeem Tech India Private Limited, started her journey as exploring her lab as a facility center to bridge the gap between academics and industrial sectors. She has trained more than 500 students in the past nine years. She has more than 15 years of experience in microbiology, enzyme technology and does drug discovery platform. She has been associated with Chinese pharmaceutical company as a division head microbiology and has faced US FDA TGA audit. Bio Neem Tech Park is a nine-year-old Chennai-based company which is a leading global contract development and a research organization that facilitates the preparation of major stack materials for pharmaceutical industry. This is the first kind of lab in Tamil Nadu that works with the model of green chemistry. Added to the credits, Bio Neem Tech India Private Limited is a proud receiver of Sri Vishweshwaraya Award for the best micro industry in the year 2020. It is my pleasure and honor to invite Dr. Menaga Magendra ma'am to give the inaugural address. Okay. Can you everybody hear? Yes. Yeah. So good morning everybody. First of all, thanks for this opportunity to this uh, college management uh, principal and uh, HOD uh, biotech department and uh, all the professors to have this uh, very good see actually uh, I, I will be it is very my pleasure to interact with the students uh, so for that even if we are all interested is we need to spare some time with the students uh, boost ourselves rather than uh, sharing our experience we boost ourselves so that we can concentrate more in our <laughs> things like that so anyway uh, uh, very first uh, 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 like uh, this is the national conference on innovative trends in biotechnology all the very best for the students and outside students faculty is conducting this uh, national conference uh, when coming to my point i will give a small uh, introduction about uh, our uh, company so our company Biolink Tech India Private Limited, as uh, she said, it is a nine years old company. It is a contract research company for both the pharmaceutical as well as the biotechnology uh, product development. So in very short, uh, I will introduce myself. Uh, when I am doing my, I did my master's in microbiology and microbial biotechnology, MSAMPhil, in Center for Marine Science and Technology. It is in uh, South uh, Tamil Nadu, Nagarkoil. Be frank, I am a very outstanding student. So don't think that outstanding, no, no class please. Outstanding, na paadi na class will be not there. So buy a product, na yara odi yada odi sona na na like buying drama na idala idu kare. I am a very very average student. That outstanding, na most of the class na paadi na ro faculty na will be not there. Go ahead. You did some in that time, man. You didn't complete the papers. But if you are in the outside, so there is, I mean, uh, discipline is there, but there is not much connection with whatever future you are selecting and your domain you are doing in your class. Okay, you should have the passion. See, I only uh, speak about the, you know, the entrepreneurial aspect of uh, uh, biotechnology. So, uh, as, as uh, I did my master's and then I completed my PhD in University of Madras, then I started my company in 2013. So as a very starting up level, I started my company for a place where I can give uh, you know, uh, training to the students. A project, mini project, final year projects, internship, uh, guiding the students like that. We have made a very good impact with this uh, students level. So later on when I am moving to a very good level from, you know, I started uh, working with so many colleges, uh, giving training and all. Later on, I got an opportunity to go for, uh, you know, uh, to set up a lab in uh, uh, China. So, I, there is two options uh, they have given. Whether you be, because I have started my company. Company, starting a company is not a very, uh, you know, easy job because we have invested the money. Everything is there. Already we have the staff. We have, uh, we have to pay the rental, staff salary. So many things are there. So, uh, the option in my place is there is two things. 
whether I have to continue my uh, uh, entrepreneur, I mean, uh, lab here, or else I have to go to the foreign and set up the lab for them. So here I have to struggle each and every day, right? There, the second option, I can go there, get a very good uh, paycheck, and I can be in a very comfortable zone. So what is the option I took? Can anyone say? I did both option. I, I took both the option. I run the company here by having a set of system. At the same time, I went outside and then I uh, established the lab there. It is, it is a very much difficult time because there is three hours, three, three and a half hours difference of time. So I will be like when I go to the company inside, you know, not like here in uh, western countries and all, you can't carry your phone uh, with you. So I will be like alerting the work schedule in the morning, I will go to the company. After coming back to the company, I will be carrying out the monitoring uh, of our lab activities. So like that we have completed the three to four years of my task. Then I came back and I just wondered what is the problem of our uh, you know, biotech domain. Why we are not able to, not only biotech, pharma also, like both the biotech and life science. When compared to the western countries, our India is like just, uh, you know, I am not talking about the vaccine production. That is an entirely different domain. I am talking only about the microbiological and biotechnological approach of the domain. Why we are not able to, you know, get so much of projects and why are we lack like that. When I made some analysis, I found that, we found that there are some key start materials. Like all the pharma company, we are very good in pharma, like APA products, what we call as the final product. APA is nothing but the active pharmaceutical ingredients. We are very good in making the formulation, tablet, syrup, everything. We are very good, like Biocon or Dr. Reddy's laboratory, so many big, big gens are there. They, they, uh, they are very good in making the final products. Okay. But the key start material, that is called the raw material, we always, 80% of the key start material we are importing from China. For the last 30 to, 25 to 30 years we are importing. So that means we will import the raw material, we will make the uh, final step and make the formulation and give it to the uh, society. Okay, so here what is the problem is, if the logistic is a problem there, for example, if China stops the material of supplying the raw material, here you can't do any final product. The totally the pharmaceutical company will be in a, uh, will be just in a, uh, you, they can't go for any running the business. So this is not a business, it is a healthcare industry. So this reflected in the pandemic situation. When the pandemic situation arises, I think in the 2019, I think so. So they everywhere started this uh, COVID uh, precaution, so many things are there and abruptly China stopped the supply of key start material to all the countries. They only have the key start material with them, they didn't give to any countries. Okay, so our total Indian AP including the vaccine production, for vaccine also we are purchasing key start material from outside countries only. So immediately our, uh, you know, Honorable, Honorable Prime Minister immediately he made an announcement that any Indians, any Indian firm is interested in manufacturing the key start material by our own, we are ready to give 40 percentage subsidy. Because they are ready to give 40 percentage subsidy, they have listed out the key start material also. So they have divided into two different parts. That is the chemical synthesized product is around 80, 80 chemicals they have listed in the department of pharmaceutical and around uh, 20, uh, 20 or 18 uh, biological based products they have listed out. And again it, 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 it became a very serious, it is not an easy job. Just like that when the government order, when the GO passed we can't start an industry. We need a place, we need money, we need investment, over and above we need the technology. How come a technology can come? It only can come after an R&T is successful. When we come to the commercial production, we can enter into an industry and start a production. So without any R&T, without any technology, how can we, what we can do? We can't do anything. Right? So, so many serious problems was availing when the COVID is started in the business, uh, in the industry part. So later on, after uh, when the vaccination is started, there come the black uh, fungus problem arises, right? 
At that time also, when it started, everyone alerted we need medicine. That black fungus, uh, oh, I forget the name of the medicine, that key start material also they stopped. See, they will be, uh, most of the countries, uh, you know, holding this key start material to overall global country, they will have a very good, I mean, they, not a good strategy, they normally have a strategy, they don't supply, they will stop the logistics and they will increase the price. We are pressured, we are forced to buy the key start material, whatever uh, price they have fixed. Am I right? So at that time, this much of problem is going on. Bioring tech, then we, we have an expert of uh, chemist with all the industrial experience, more than 25 years of experience with the APA. We have uh, more than uh, three to four experts. We started working on the preparation of key start material as a baby step. Uh, like uh, uh, through a, a unique technology called green chemistry. So green chemistry is entirely different. We use only the enzymes and metals to make the process. We, do, we, do not, we don't want to use any hazardous chemical or solvent to make the key start material. Both the pharmaceutical as well as biological product we started working out and uh, based on that, uh, you know, 2019, we got the MSME and BIRAC project to initiate, they encouraged us to start these projects. So, this is where we, uh, you know, understood, by, see, why I am sharing my experience here is, now we are successfully working out with many international and national clients to, you know, to develop our technology and we want to make our key start material and intermediates by our own. So why I am sharing the experience to, to you people, to students is whatever projects, whatever domain you are working, I mean at least now or later or whatever the conference you want to take some paperwork or domain, whatever, you should know the market demands. It should not be only in the research level or it should not be only in the lab level. You should have a wide vision that this product, whatever you are doing, whether it can be taken for the society application or society impact or can, you, can I make it convert it into a product. If whatever research proposal you have, have the ability to convert into a product, definitely you have a very big uh, future, you know, a big opportunity and future in your hands. So that's all. I just want to share my experience here. And thank you so much and all the best. Thank you much, ma'am. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Arumaga Perma, Agri Scientist, Crop Protection and Bio Input Manufacturers, Director, Research and Development, Armats Biotech Training and Research Institute. Dr. Arumaga Perma is working as a Director at Armats Biotech Training and Research Institute. He has a strong knowledge in herbal products, formulation technology, enzyme technology, and protein biochemistry. He has published over 110 research articles in phytochemistry and organic herbal product creation. He has successfully guided more than 250 academic products, sorry, projects. Armas Biotech has been instituted with a prime research focus on biological sciences with the ultimate goal of developing unique bio products to cater the needs of various industries and agriculture. Armas is developing a tailor-made research laboratory kit that simplifies, promotes, and improves the teaching and the research quality in biological sciences. The main vision and the mission of the company is to develop quality bioproducts to cater the demand of various industries and agriculture, and also to provide quality training and education to the students, researchers, and teachers. I hereby welcome Dr. Armugam to deliver a special address. Present here. I think uh, after the MOU session, I, I would like to present my research, all the research results, product uh, validation, how to reach product to the farmers or uh, customers, right? that we will discuss theoretically. So before I am going to detail, I really thank you very much for your administration and all the vibrant team members, principal, dean. So, such a wonderful uh, initiation. So this is giving us a uh, lot of energy. You now, as an industrialist, I'm telling so many students uh, like principals uh, address ABC. So action beyond classroom, I can tell like this. So you should have action. So where to concentrate, where to not concentrate. It's very important point I would like to highlight. Then we will discuss in a PPT all the things. 
as an engineering student, right, uh, for four years, you are staying here, you should be very clear what is the role of institution, what is the role of industries. You should differentiate, very, very important point I would like to tell you. Most of the people are confusing the college will say, in a well, I could have in a well, I could have Why are you blaming institute? Institute only giving academic, academic knowledge and your career guidelines, career training, everything they can give. Not industrialization or product development or job employments. Don't depend on any institutes for employments. First, where to concentrate? All the students, please concentrate your thought process towards your career goals. Number one, where to not concentrate you should understand first. Okay, so ID card attendance, CJP, marks, etc., etc., as principal addressed. So, where to concentrate? So, every one of you, you have a very good uh, thought process. Every one of you have ideology. Your thought process, ideology, if you make combination, definitely you can create a product. Not in the end, six months or one year. You should have a dream first. For that, you have to continuously do some research, uh, screening, analytical. First step of your uh, career should be analytical skills. And second thing is, you should uh, understand what is the need of product. So what is what is the need of? Mostly all biotech students, you should understand five, six industries, that's all. Food, feed, leather, textile, paper and pulp industries, and pharmaceutical industries, that's all. For all these five, six industries, what is our social responsibilities? What is our social contribution? You should understand. So you should have that particular awareness. I'm going to present you nicely, don't worry. And the awareness create one record. We are coming here as an industrialist, as madam addressed, lot of pain. For entrepreneur now full of pain now. For the first ten years. Startup company is wrong, startup, startup, okay. Nobody is giving money for startup. First one year, I have a lot of products, nobody will give. Second year, nobody will give. Three years, financial status correct, you are a startup company. It's a very big pain. I'm not telling negatively. First, you should, uh, you, if you have ideology, you have to work continuously for at least two to three years. Approve products for products on the dinner. You try to do, uh, apply to the farming. If agriculture, you have to apply to the farmers. If a farmer critical, clinical research. So many steps are there. Yet the steps come here go and the products choose for me. Risk free are to Any products, five points very important. If you want to develop a product, it should be eco-friendly. It should be result oriented. All the seasonal availability. Raw materials. So raw material resource control is very another uh, big skill set. All the seasonal availability you know, and it should be result oriented. Output on the result. You know. Adiko mele, novelty arkanu. Adiko mele, cheaper arkanu. That is called product. Please understand. Any product. Because one of food, feed, textile, leather, all paper and pulp industries, pharmaceutical industries, illa play products pandla. All with all these five points covered, na ninge easy you can deliver a product. Okay. So my interest of uh, area is agriculture by technology. I started my career after my PhD with the farmers only. From a farmer sort of all the Saturday, Sunday, mostly I sit with the farmers looking at it over. Because they will not interact. If I tell them PhD na it is a waste So they will not reveal their problem. So most of the time weekends I spent with the farmers. I analyzed all the problem. Indian agriculture we are uh, we are in temperate, temperate conditions. So many negative things is going on. Slowly I am working for farmers for 13, 14 years. Almost now, I covered more than 4,000 acres in Tamil Nadu. 4,000 acres, and it's on the market. And in the part of what we are doing, we are uh, keep on applying our fertilizer. Mother is lesser, mother is lesser. Most of the farmers in this lawn, negative or some fish lawn. Mother is lesser, mother is lesser. Pan to put on the thing, sir. 
நினைச்சனா இன்டக்ஷன் அன்சீசன்ல ஒரு ஜாஸ்மின் கொடுங்க அன்சீசன்ல ஜாஸ்மின் வந்து இஃப் யூ இன்ட்யூஸ் நேச்சுரலி ஃபோலியர் ஸ்ப்ரே தட்ஸ் ஆல் அன்சீசன்ல 4000 ரூபீஸ் per kg ஜாஸ்மின் 100 ரூபீஸ் பெட்ரோல் எல்லாம் படி படி கொடுங்க 4000 ரூபீஸ் யா ஜாஸ்மின் why you are not aware of that you know kadagamaru how much kg the flavor is always 5000 per kg in the season la kadikadhu yes so these all the areas we have to consider we have to enge irukke very is opportunity so like uh, we should understand our strength weakness opportunities everything we have to look through products a beautiful platform is biotechnology this is the only living subject trouble shoots kudukla food ta kudukla during corona so many doctors are my friends karmiyana uh, solva biotechnology padichu we are superior than doctors or inferior than doctors students green chemistry is here please understand we only finding all the screening optimization production purification all the drugs validation cr pan home interpreter between patient and pharmacist pair wait for her that is doctor doctor periya uyiru kadavul solrangale nam kadavul ke kadavuliya please understand we only finding all the drugs we only finding all the molecules why we are not validated by society we are not have awareness illa suthama we should have awareness we should involve in the research we create lot of molecules to troubleshoot something in agriculture food feed leather textile whatever it is with all the information i like to present my specific products and testimonials proof it no let i can advise lot with proof i will present for 20 minutes after the mov session uh we'll have a lot of question sessions also question interactive sessions i like very much okay with this i'll conclude this all the best and good luck thank you and next se- session is signing of mou memorandum of understanding is not just the agreement between two institution or industry it is a beautiful bonding between those in the institution and industry by transferring knowledge and resources among them and working together for the betterment of society and also for the next generation With this, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Meera Mahindra, CEO of Biotech India Private Limited, and Dr. R. Mukha Perumal, Director of Ahmed's Biotech Training and Research Institute, for accepting our institution and signing an MOU with us. I hope this bonding not just stop with signing this MOU, and I believe we will have a great journey together and develop new innovation of technologies together. electricity it must be produced and discharged and used up in order to exist at all so i request dr suresh kumar d industry relation professor and head of department of mba to give the vote of thanks honorable principal professor dr e kamalanathan today's eminent guest dr managa magendran and the veteran industrialist Dr. R. Mukham Pirma, 
टीम और एसओ स्कूल ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर डी युवराज एंड डीन ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड प्लेसमेंट डॉक्टर सुरेश एंड एसोसिएट डीन ऑफ इन इंस्टीट्यूशन इनोवेशन काउंसिल डॉक्टर गोपीनाथ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी हेड डॉक्टर नाम शेखर एंड अदर हेड्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल यस as our honorable principal sir was mentioning or was insisting emphasizing on abc this activities beyond classroom this mou is also today it is one of the activity in abc so this mou is uh, already the uh, department of biotechnology are having more than 10 mous with various industries empowering the students or making the students to excel in the different different areas especially which are in need of the industry and we are also making the students have to get place in uh, very competence so now i earnestly request i once again on behalf of the management and our principal sir department uh, is said that the mou is not on papers we also want it to make it uh, real like we will be in touch with you i mean like we'll be sending our students and you also please do come to our campus now and then so it's a well tech high tech is your campus so we associate with you in transfer of knowledge in other areas like internships and project work we earnest request you to kindly accommodate our students and to accommodate few students of biotechnology and chemical engineering uh, for internship and project work ma'am also had given a kind consent so thank you ma'am and thank you sir and uh, on this occasion of this conference so it is very nice to have mou with uh, the industries the uh, entrepreneurs to develop or to hone your skills to meet the industry requirement and get placement in biotechnology or in life sciences okay once again i thank for giving the opportunity and i extend my profound and sincere thanks to the chief guest for making your benign presence on campus and entering into mou with well tech high tech thank you